Hello and welcome. My name is Steve. This is my racing game development log series. We're on number 32 and I'm just going to get started. So um, two questions. If you're new or if you've been watching for a while, I'm curious, why do you watch this? Um, I'm trying to improve the quality of the presentation and just let me know what you would like to see. Um, you could just post a comment in the comment section and that would really help me out to just improve the overall quality. Um, Anyway, let's just jump into it. So one of the things I was working on is project organization. If you recall in the last videos, I gave it, you could always see the assets folder and it was just a huge dump of assets from the asset store and tons of directories. I have since organized them into the game folder. I still have three folders. These all have different road pieces in them. And basically they just need to get merged into the game folder as well. I just want to pull out all of the content that I'm not using. Um, that being said, uh, I s also set up some new road intersections. So you can see that this intersection, for example, has a left only turn lane. And there's other intersections throughout the city that have the left only. And really that's for traffic simulation. As I was starting to set up traffic, I wanted to create turn lanes. When I was building Arcade Racer, I realized somewhere through that process that I wish I had added turn lanes to the city simulation. Just because it was something that I could do and I... I completely forgot about that when I was laying out this road network and once I started setting up traffic I realized hey wait I still need some left turn lanes so that only the traffic in the left turn lane can turn and they don't block the other two lanes anyway um, that's something I went through and I added another thing that I did was um, I added a few different props I changed the textures so I have some car props in this Ferris wheel area, nothing major. I laid out some buses that the cars can kind of speed through. Maybe there will be a waypoint in there or something at some point in one of the races. Um, terrain textures, they look a little bit different. I have something that looks a little bit more rocky and dirt-like. Um, what else did I do? And I, I changed this fake water material. Really, there's not a whole lot to show in the Unity Editor. Um, another change that I did for optimization is I switched to IL2CPP uh, instead of mono, and that makes the builds run a little bit faster. I moved the street lights, which are here. I created a street light manager. Previously, each of these street lights had their own LOD script on it and that basically just managed let me get rid of this that basically just managed what what the street light would do so it would manage the properties of the light and the volume beam and based on the distance to the player it would enable or disable specific settings and what I did was I because I have so many street lights in the scene um, there's probably a few hundred of them I uh, created a streetlight manager and set up a job system for it. So all of those are processed in parallel now. Um, I did the same thing for the AI traffic cars. And with the road network, what I did was a lot of these, as Road Architect was creating geometry, um, it created multiple pieces of geometry for each road segment and then it layered specific textures on top of them with the materials. And what I did was I combined, so if there was an intersection like this, for example, the left turn only on each of these roads, those are now combined into only one object. So basically I did some mesh merging where it was um, acceptable. There's still some opportunity to merge some more meshes throughout the road system, but um, also when Road Architect generated geometry, if you've used it, if you would go under the scene in the intersection, like right under the road, you would notice that there was additional geometry there. So I basically went through the entire road network and I, 
I used ProBuilder to edit that geometry. I deleted all of the additional faces that were under the road network. Um, and it really just helped clean up the scene a little bit and make it so there's fewer verts, fewer faces that need lighting, etc. Um, I messed with the reflection probe layer mask on the car. And also you, you might notice this area off to this side, maybe not, but it was previously a lot bigger, so like like this section of land was just bigger, um, and it had more vegetation. Currently, the most expensive, even though I'm using Vegetation Studio Pro, which uses the job system and Burst Compiler, vegetation is still the most expensive thing in the scene right now. Um, anyway, that being said, those are the changes that I've made to the project, and I have a build ready. Let me go ahead and just close this Unity project. Oh, um, one of the things that I was going to show was just the difference in vertices and meshes. So all of that optimization basically brought me down to about 500 meshes in the scene. I was at about 800 previously. Um, so it, it reduced the mesh count by a decent amount. Um, so yeah, anyway, here we are in the build. And in the last build where we loaded, we were looking at 70 frames per second. And in this build, we're going to be sitting a little over 100 frames per second in the same position, which is great. Um, so yeah, 105, 108. When I'm not recording, I've seen this go up to 114 frames per second, just sitting in the middle of the city idle. So I'll, I'll drive around and you could see that I'm still like in the high 90s, hundreds, which is great. This is some place that we were dipping into the 70s, high 60s. So at this point, I feel like the app is optimized. Now, when I turn and, and we start to see some of this traffic, now there's a ton of traffic on this street we're at 80 and you know that to me that tells me we're at a pretty decent spot because there's a ton of AI cars over here like as far as we can see almost there's AI cars and we're at 80 frames so I feel like I'm finally at a well right here I'm at 68 but we can see cars like way down the road um, and there will never be that many cars in the player's view at any given time. Um, and we could also see a bunch of geometry. There's not a whole lot being cold. Um, but as we start driving around, we, we get back up to 90. So at this point, I feel like with all of the graphic settings turned on, like there will be an options menu soon. And once I put that in, I'll be able to turn off the reflection probe and shadows and different things that people with low-end systems might turn off. I suspect that the frame rate will jump even higher. Pretty soon I'm going to want to actually test on some low-end hardware, which I haven't really done yet. I'm using um, i7-6800 and uh, 1080. So I, I have a pretty powerful system. So it, with this powerful system, I expect to be able to run max settings and have a really high frame rate. So that's where I'm at. Right now I'm driving to the area of the city that had the lowest frame rate. So this intersection right up here, when we turn around, last time I made a video, when I was at this intersection, we were at 15, we hit 59 frames. I think we dipped a little bit lower and now we're sitting at 85. So pretty good if I don't say so myself. I'm really happy with the performance optimizations. That's something that was just kind of in the back of my head bothering me. I didn't want to start scaling up until I wrangled all of the performance issues because I knew once I had more traffic in here and I started setting up some more logic, it was just going to get worse. Um, but now knowing that it's I, I'm pretty much running 100 frames per second as I'm driving through city streets where occlusion culling is set up at at like its best possible scenario. Um, 
if I go into a building, this used to be where I would hit the highest frame rate. So like if I'm just looking at a wall, um, previously I think it was like 110 frames. Now I'm at 125 frames um, while OBS is running. So I'm just really happy with the performance right now. And I do think it can still be better, but I, I think at this point I'm ready to start laying out traffic and setting up some kind of pooling system to get traffic driving throughout this whole city. Um, some of these cars are obviously doing some weird stuff, knocking over street lights. And anyway, um, that's where I'm at. Let me know what you think. I think it's pretty optimized and I'm looking forward to building some cool stuff at this point. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.